Spoken for good quality to make sure that it uh, meets our customers' requirements in general. Uh, it's a good quality market, but you still have to be careful that you buy the youngest of the cat to make sure that you're getting the product you require. You just look at the quality here, and if the gills are red, then it's a good quality fish. And if the eyes are bright, this is an average, this is quite average fish, like this one. We bought some MSC paddock at the first boat for the bay, and they'll be getting processed today and tomorrow. I think what makes a good fish and chip shop is pride, care. You've got to enjoy it. I love, you know, food and drink is what I love doing. You know, if I'm not in here, that's what I do. I go around trying things and not necessarily fish and chips. But I think you've got to have pride and take care in what you do. Just watch yourself because it's really messy. You'll end up going with it. Keep the butter thin so you can taste the fish, because if you buy an expensive fish that's nice and fresh, you don't want to hide it with thick, horrible butter. And we use Hyolac sunflower oil, which is um, part of the protein from sunflower, which is a healthy, um, a healthy oil, but it means that we can cater for everyone. Um, and again, it's very light in flavour, so it lets the flavour of the product sing, so you can taste the fish, you can taste the butter, and you can taste the chips. So to try and make the fish and chips special, you've got to start with the right ingredients first. So you've got to use good produce. You can't turn rubbish into something good. So you, we buy top of the range produce and we take care of what we do with it. So minimal handling. So we use, we use fish, which is natural from the sea and we, we created our own batter mix. Oh, it's so good. I've had it like several times around in the UK now, but I have to say this is my favorite one, like favorite one so far, yeah. It's local fish, so yeah. It's good. It just tastes so fresh. It's nice and fresh. You can taste taste it like it's still swimming. <laughs>
<laughs> salt water. It's just really fresh. The bay has been named in the, the food experiences in the Lonely Planet. It's quite a cue for, for them, obviously, and for, and for Scotland and really for the whole of the UK. Um, I mean, certainly I know when I go on holiday, I check out to see what food experiences there are. And it'll be great to see that people coming to Scotland will be looking up the bay and visiting Stonehaven and all it's got to offer. What they do, they do really well. Everything is cooked fresh to order. They really do care about provenance. You go in and, and you can know exactly which boat your fish came off, you know which field your tatties came from. Um, they've got all the extras. It's not just the fish and chips. You get a wedge of lemon, you get homemade tartar sauce, you get homemade mushy peas. It's just a full package. Hey, hey, hey. Woo! 